what you're going to see is Windows April 1 being used in 2023. And yeah, you got a Windows April 1 64 bit virtual machine. Just going to wait for this huge thing. But yeah, we are starting up Windows 8.1. Also, put in the effort to apply a custom profile picture to doing one of the Windows 8 ones, and uh, I should also point out right now that this sidebar does not come with Windows 8.1. But yeah, this is the desktop, and it apparently takes you to the desktop right away, although that should be kind of expected. And yeah, I've also put Edge on here, but we're not going to cover Microsoft Edge. Now let's go to the start screen. So yeah, one of the features of Windows 8.1 and Windows 8 was the fact that it included a start screen, which replaced the traditional start menu. And the reason why Windows 8.1 exists was because initially there was no start button on Windows 8. People did not like that. So what happened next was that Windows 8.1 brought back the start button. So we're going to start with something that I don't think is going to work. Because prior to this deal, I tested everything and made sure that everything worked. And we are not going to cover out of one over one note, but just do this. Oh, I'll just... Oh, okay, so it doesn't work. It still runs into issues and think that there is something wrong with the camera. Now, I tested that at 12 a.m. without a internet connection, so that might have something to do with this. But, yeah, I can't get the camera to work. But yeah, I'll just deal with that, so I covered it. And now let's cover some of the stuff that I have tried to get to work, and it doesn't work. So it's sports, because, well yeah, if you see here, this test mode MSN sports, and the page fails to load, and it turns out to I'll try this again, so this gives me this message over and over and over again. It's a shame because none of this stuff actually kind of pulls it as a selfie value for me. So I'll just cover food and drink next because, well, it doesn't work. Yeah, page fails to load and this item is not currently available. It may be due to temporary issues or this item may have permanently been removed. And it tries to load. It gives you that. Just kind of shame because this holds quite a bit of this, because that program kind of holds a kind of a bit of nostalgic value to me, and the fact that it doesn't work kind of is a bit of a disappointment. Although, not a lot of these apps will work, because Windows, because one, this is like a 10-year-old operating system, and two, it's out of service, and now let's cover money, because this doesn't do much. This is all it does, you just get this. Although, interestingly, let's see, okay, this I thought this was going to work, but no. It does not work. Just like everything else. Wait, it's, wait, it's trying to do something here. I mean... Wait, it worked? This works? That, that's interesting. Well, yeah. Does any of this stuff work? I mean, if I ever want to cover any sort of financial stuff, I'm probably going to do a video about Quick in 2004, but... Somehow, this still kind of works. Kind of. I mean, not all of it works. I mean, I don't think this is going to work. Because, well... Yeah. Although, wait, those are not my actual financial stats. We are not going to talk about that, but for whatever reason, that somehow works. Let's go to health and fitness. And well, this doesn't really work fully. But interestingly, we got kind of like a bit of a mini start screen here, I guess. We got like this. I mean, it's, oh look, it's trying to load an ad. That's kind of to be expected, because, well, it's an MSN-based app, so it's obviously gonna have ads, but let's see, does this? Let's see. Go 
parts of this. Yeah, I don't think this works. And I'm not gonna try and make any of that work. Because I am not a Microsoft employee. So yeah, we've covered health and fitness, food and drink, money, and sports. Now we're gonna see if we can get any of this to work. Okay, so somehow this does try to do something. And yeah, I have been and in case you are wondering, you need to actually sign into a Microsoft account in order to get access to this. So yeah. Go ahead and save this. But yeah, you need a Microsoft account in order to get this to work. We'll just minimize that. But in case you were wondering, for three of these programs, I mean, you need to have a Microsoft in account in order to get them to work. In fact, it's more than three programs, it's four programs that I have tested. Those being Mail, Calendar, People, and obviously Skype. But the reason why these programs require you to sign into a Microsoft account with, with calendar and people. I don't know why you need a Microsoft account in order to do that, but there's probably some sort of reason that I do not know that is probably gonna be brought up in the comments section. So yeah, and now let's just wait because, well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the, it's gonna probably remind us, and this is not. <laughs> and yeah, I used a, you know, I'll just delete this. So yeah, thus, let's get people uh and no thanks let's just so yeah I, it works no 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 i don't want to i don't want to add an account but yeah it's although i think i know why now i i think i know why these programs require you to sign into a microsoft account or at least people on counter i mean Skype is pretty obvious and thing with mouth I think it's because of the fact that it's connected to Outlook. So I think the reason why is because of the fact that it's connected to Outlook. Okay, new contact. So I'll just... Yeah, it says Hotmail. Oh wait, that's pretty obvious Microsoft account that I have with my public email address. Which, if you don't know, if you want to send me an email, doing a little bit of self promo here, but if you want to ever send me an email, I have a public email address that you can find in the About Me section. I know that it's supposed to be used for business purposes, but we'll just create a sample contact building on my unfunny jokes from Microsoft Office 2007. We'll just do this. If anyone doesn't understand this, we'll just do this. And yeah, these also get thanks to, to the Microsoft account that I am using for demonstration. So yeah. Probably isn't the greatest idea. But now we're going to go to mail, and what you're about to see has been censored. Would you like to add another account? Oh my goodness. This is... And yeah, I censored all of this because, well, I don't want you looking at the because these are my emails and you don't get to see them. I sent this email. This is the only thing that you're going to see is this email. Because it's just, it was a email that I sent to myself using my other email, which is my personal email, which I'm not going to, which I center, because I don't want you sending me emails using my person, which is my personal email, because it's a personal email and it's not for public use. Well, I sent this email to myself because I wanted to hear the new mail notification sound on my PC. And, well, yeah, how I did that was through, well, sending an email through, my, through the email client on my PC, which is a Thunderbird, and I would, and I managed to get the sound which I had set to the AOL Instagram sound, or one of them. Right, so now we're going to close out of that, because I don't want you looking at my emails, and when you look at that, this is already doing it. Now we're going to deal with news because, well, I don't think this is going to work. If it does, I'm going to be surprised, and I'm probably also going to. If it 
stuff. Probably also gonna get a little bit censored, because it's the news. Clearly. But now we're going to deal with games. Oh yeah, you've got Xbox games. Ask you if you want to sign into an Xbox account, and also interestingly, you kind of got a lot of Xbox 360 like interface. Kind of cool because I don't have an Xbox 360. I mean, I have an Xbox, but it's an Xbox Series S. But yeah, yeah I rarely share this stuff with all of you because, well, I generally don't have the time to. Do all that. We're now going to cover weather, which I've censored some of the information here because, well, and this also doesn't work because it's not up to date and I've censored the information here, but as you can see, it hasn't updated and this is not accurate. Now we're going to go deal with the PC settings because, well, why not? You have like this stuff. And well, also not to mention here that you cannot go there in order to personalize the start screen. Getting a charm is my equal work, it's kind of tedious. Go to personalize. This is how you personalize the start screen and also get this stuff to do its thing. You also get tiles. Of the but that's how you deal with that stuff. Now we're going to go to help and tips because, well, yeah, we're probably not gonna. It's new. This is all the stuff that came with this. This is a new stuff that was introduced in Windows 8.1, so it's not just the start button that they brought back. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I didn't know much about Windows 8, and I still don't know much about Windows 8. But yeah, we've got Skype, which doesn't work. Just gonna close out of this because well, it's, it's Skype. It's generally not that great from what it does. Got reading list. But clearly, uh, yeah, reading list is now available for Windows Phone. Cool. But yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with that. And now let's cover alarms. Now let's create another alarm. Actually, I haven't censored because, well, it doesn't actually show my location. Oh, yeah, you've got Perth, Australia. You've got Japan. And you've got the United Kingdom. Okay. It shouldn't be much long. It shouldn't be much longer until that timer goes off. As in, it's probably gonna go off in like less than ten seconds. Of well, that alarm, actually. So yeah, and this is a default sound. This is a pretty nostalgic sound for me. Close out of that and turn down the speakers again. So now we're gonna deal with video. And yeah, there's Xbox. There's Xbox video and movies. And yeah, well, there it goes. And for this uh, section, I've decided to actually put in an effort into editing, into recording this video and doing all the stuff for this video. And I've actually went gone ahead and actually copied one of my videos over to this virtual machine. Yep, I copied Windows Vista 2023 over to this virtual machine. So yeah. Okay, enough. And that's all the 
That's the only 15 seconds you're gonna get out of that video for now. So now we've covered, like, most of these. We're going to cover the Xbox Music app. I've also copied some of the tracks I have used in videos. Update available to use Xbox services. Get the latest version of the app. No, we're not gonna do that, but... Yeah, so interestingly enough, back in the days of Windows 8.1, the Xbox branding was used for other forms of entertainment. So yeah, we'll just do this. We'll just play my, well, the first song that played in this video. And yeah. <coughs> I put on the, I, I mean, and we'll just pause this. If I don't, then I'm probably gonna listen to the entire thing. We don't want that. The last thing we're going to cover that I don't think it's gonna work is travel and we're also going to cover oh no mm, fine don't show my location but yeah for whatever reason that somehow works or at least the interface does and then last but not least we're going to cover the store app yeah you've got apps Got like all sorts of apps and whatnot. The Photos app. This is for the present four picture that I had. Oh, and that's the background that would have came with my laptop. But yeah, so I'm just gonna cover the calculator last. But yeah, well, <laughs> oh, interesting. It's equal to about 1.06 DVDs. Also, interestingly. Ah! Okay, why'd I have to bring that up? But yeah, you've got like a calculator. Square root of four is two. But yeah. Now we're going to cover the file explorer. Oh yeah, you've got all this. Got the programs I was gonna put on here. I still have to do some stuff with this, but yeah, you've got the programs I'm gonna put on here. And yeah, so that is Windows 8.1 in 2023. Or 10 years later, depending on what year you see this video, because after 2023, I'm probably just going to change the title to using Windows 8.1 10 years later. But yeah, with that, let's just shut down. And with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!